everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Jordan. For those of you who are new here and I work on a cruise ship, I am a professional figure skater so I'm currently working and living on board. If you have seen any of my previous videos you would know that I am currently on board the Adventure of the Seas which is in dry dock. So as I'm filming this we are in Brest, France for our dry dock and I wanted to sit down and just kind of answer some of the questions you guys have because Dry dock isn't a very well-known topic and not something that I've ever kind of discussed on my channel because this is my first dry dock as a cruise ship crew member as well. So I had you guys send in any questions you want to know on Instagram. So if you're not following my Instagram, make sure to do so because that's where I do all of my polls and questions for upcoming videos. I'm so sorry for any background noise you might hear that is the contractors working around the ship. So I cannot control that. Hopefully we can keep the noise to a minimum and you can hear me talking no problem. I am very much feeling the fall vibes today if you can't tell by my hair and makeup selection. I have lost my tan entirely from the Caribbean sun which is a little bit of a bummer but it'll come back. Um, but since we are in France, we do have quote-unquote fall weather, and I am super happy about it, so I felt like, why not dress the part? I've got my iced coffee here as always. This is just my cold brew with some almond milk. So we are ready to jump into this video. Um, if you want to follow my socials, they will be linked below. And let's get on into it. Pinky's up, friends. Mmm, that drilling is really annoying. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's really loud. So, I got a bunch of questions and I got a bunch of repeats, so I'm gonna try and answer all of them, or as many of them as I can. Um, I feel like the best question to start off with is, what is it? So basically, dry dock is when the ship goes into port for a designated amount of time, and all the water is drained out of the container that our ship is in. Basically the water is drained entirely from this container that we pull into. So we pull in as usual and then this giant wall kind of closes behind the ship. The reason for this is so that all the contractors and other workers for this dry dock can do any necessary refurbishments, upgrades, or any other work that needs to be done to the interior or the exterior of the ship. There are a variety of different things that can be done during a dry dock. It's not always necessarily for the aesthetics of the ship or an upgrade to like the guest area. Sometimes it is just functionality. So the next question a lot of people wanted to know where are we currently for dry dock so I am on board still and our ship is located in Brest France was this planned from the beginning of the contract have you got any warm clothes packed I'm not entirely sure if they plan to do a dry dock in advance like before I signed on if this was always their plan I wasn't aware of the dry dock until I want to say a month after I got on board, so in the middle of install is when I found out that we would be going into dry dock, but usually ships go into dry dock every three-ish years, give or take, um, so it was pretty much due for a dry dock. And I do have some warm clothes packed. I don't have like winter clothes packed, but I did pack a bunch of hoodies and long sleeves because it can get a little chilly in Studio B, especially at the beginning of the contract during install when we're standing around a lot learning the numbers. So yeah, I have leggings, I have some sweatpants, hoodies, crewnecks, things like that. Why in Europe? That is a good question, my friend. I'm not entirely sure. I do know that a lot or all of the ships are built around Europe, usually somewhere in Europe. That's where the ships are built. Um, so I feel like it's only fitting that the dry dock is also happening somewhere in Europe. Were there passengers on board for the crossing? No, there were not. There were absolutely zero guests on board and there was and also there was only about a third of the typical crew on board so I want to say there was like 450 ish 
crew members there isn't a ton for everyone to do so a lot of the crew members that were here before dry dock were signed off on September 18th and transferred to another ship to work there and then they'll come back here before we resume cruising with guests but because there were no guests on board we were able to use the guest areas which was absolutely lovely I really enjoyed that and I'm hoping that uh, we can continue to use them up until our first sailing with guests. What will the crew be doing during dry dock? So depending on what your position is on board, you have different duties. Um, the engineers are helping with the dry dock, so they're working quite a bit. Um, officers are pretty much doing the same as usual. Same with the medical team. Um, entertainers definitely have a different role, but we will get into that shortly and yeah it just depends on your supervisor but i will go into depth on what i have been personally been up to how long is the dry dock so the dry dock is officially two weeks um so it took us about i want to say 12 days to cross from nassau bahamas our home port to arrive in france and there was a bit of work being done to the ship when we were already in the transatlantic crossing. I have a vlog on the crossing if you want to check it out. I will have it below. But the official dry dock started and it'll last around two weeks. Will you stay on the ship? Yes, I am on board, like I said. Unfortunately, we do not have any shore leave still, so I'm just admiring France from afar, which is quite sad, actually. I would love to get off and go explore France. I've been to Paris one time and I fell in love, so um, it's a little bit of a tease being here, but not actually getting to experience it. However, it's still nice to have a different change of scenery and a little bit of change of uh, climate. You have to take what you can get and look at everything in a positive way. Do you get to move to a bigger room since their guests aren't there? Unfortunately, no. I was really hoping that we would be able to temporarily live in a guest cabin while we're in dry dock or for the crossing. Uh, it's not available to us. I'm not entirely sure why it isn't, um, but I do know that they're switching the carpets out in the guest cabins, so I think that is why. I wish it was though. We are still in our usual crew cabins. What are your responsibilities during dry dock as a performer? Since there are no guests on board, I do not have any shows to perform. However, we do have a few duties. So as always, safety is always our 24-7 responsibility, which that of course stays the same. Um, but we aren't working nearly as much as we usually do when guests are on board. So we did actually hold a crew skate. So the crew that are on board right now were able to do like open skate. So we ran that as we usually would for the guests. So that was something we had to do. And also we are responsible for Firewatch, which is quite simple. So we had Firewatch in different shifts. So basically you just go and you wear all your PPE and just watch the contractors do their thing. And if there are any sparks or fire that arises, we just spray it. So that's basically Firewatch. Um, and then of course we still have to keep up with our physique and our health so I have been going to the gym non-stop and I've also been skating. How does the ship stand in dry dock and what holds the weight of the ship? I kind of said it before, I don't know all the terminology so I'm sorry guys, but I'll try my best to explain it in a cohesive manner. So basically when we arrived to France, we pulled into port as we usually would, but since this is like a shipyard or like a working port um, where they do refurbishments and things like that, it's a little different. So we pulled into basically a little container. It was filled with water. You pulled right in and then this like huge cement wall closed behind the ship and sealed us in with the water. And then I don't know how it happened. It happened also at like 2 in the morning, so I couldn't see it, but they drained all the water out. So it's a completely dry container. And this thing is deep because, I mean, when you think of a ship, it's quite large. So I don't know how deep that is, but it is up until like deck 4 is where you can see outside. You no longer see cement, um, but it is just balancing there. 
that's yeah oh my god my feet oh oh i'm sitting on my feet and both of them are completely asleep oh my god give me one second i've sorted out my seating arrangement so hopefully my feet come back to life um but moving on can you enter and leave the ship at any time or do you have to respect certain slots well we don't have shore leave right now because of covid of course so no we cannot leave the ship but in years past when there is a dry dock and covid didn't exist we were able to get off i never have done a dry dock like this is my first one so i'm not entirely sure like how it works but i do know that when people were in dry dock they were able to get off into the port or the city wherever that the ship was and yeah i think since it was there overnight for you know days weeks on end you could even stay off the ship overnight what is your weekly schedule like now in dry dock so we do still have a schedule that we follow but it's nothing too crazy it's very very relaxed if i'm being honest and i'm so grateful for this extra time to chill but of course since i'm an entertainer i'm not going to be working on you know fixing the ship you're not going to see me driving a crane or anything like that you definitely don't want to so yeah we usually have open ice every day and you get like an hour of open ice which is really nice per person or you get a half hour slot and you share the second half hour with somebody else so basically you could skate for an hour um, but since we're all really chill and flexible you can kind of skate as much as you want um, and then we do also skate together a bit we have rehearsals and we have COVID tests every like three to four days. So twice a week we have COVID testing, which is really good. Our ship is currently in a green ship, so nobody on board has tested positive. Other than that, I make my own schedule as far as how I want to spend my free time. So I've been going to the gym in the morning and then also later in the day before dinner. Can you use the guest areas such as swimming pool and gym during dry dock? We are allowed to use almost all the guest amenities. So we were able to use that area during the crossing, but now during dry dock, a lot of the things are kind of closed off. But we are able to use the guest gym, which has been absolutely amazing. I am so happy that we're able to use that because the crew gym just doesn't cut it for me. It's really, really small, and I mean, the guest gym is just sitting there. So it's amazing that we are able to use that. As far as the pools and the jacuzzis go, we were also able to use those during the crossing over to France. Now, all of the pools and jacuzzis are completely drained, and they're working on them. So they're basically doing work to the entire pool deck. So all of that is mostly closed off. What is there to do during dry dock on the ship? What's closed slash what's still operational? Like I said, we can use guest areas. Right now, the promenade is closed, like cafe promenade is closed, but they do have the promenade open to walk through. All the shops are completely closed, but there is a ping pong table and a foosball table on the promenade that we can use. We, as crew members, are eating all of our meals breakfast lunch and dinner in the wind jammer we can use the guest gym like i just said uh the spa is closed the arcade is open we're able to use the arcade if we wish which i've definitely played air hockey quite a few times there um, we can use the basketball court on the sports deck we can use the mini golf flow rider is closed and being refurbished the slides are being refurbished. There is definitely a good amount of options that we can use. What else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. We're allowed to sit on the open deck, which is really nice. So on deck 11. And the jogging track was open on the crossing, but now it's pretty much closed. I mean, technically you can still walk on deck 12, but you need to wear a hard hat, which like, like a helmet pretty much, um, because if something was to fall, you want to be protected. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How do you pack with the change of weather so sudden? So I only have what I brought with me on this contract, not knowing that we would be in fall weather for a bit, but I also had my mom send some stuff too back a couple months ago, if you remember that. It's not super cold outside, it's just a little chilly, but since I basically live in Studio B, I'm always prepared with uh, warmer clothes. Is the ship getting 
some general upgrades or are there going to be big changes coming? I don't have a complete rundown of what they're doing to the ship, but from my understanding they're doing pretty much the basics. They're not doing too much aesthetically to the ship, but I guess we'll see. Are you still on the same ship that you were on before Dry Dock? Yes, I am. I'm on Miss Adventure and I will be here until February. Do you get paid during this time? Love your videos, by the way. Well, thank you. I love you. And yes, I do get paid, so as an ICE cast member, we are getting our full pay. Do you guys change time zones on the ship? Now that you are in France, how does that work? So during the crossing to France, we would change the clock one hour forward every day. So um, I think on the third day, we switched one hour forward and then one more hour the next day. And then we had a few days that we didn't change the clock. And again, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour. So now we are on France time, so we're six hours ahead of what we were previously. And then on our way back, we will do the same, but we will put the clock back an hour. And I'm hoping that they do it during the night so we get an extra hour of sleep because on the way here, we lost an hour at 2 o'clock. So at 2 o'clock, it turned 2, 3 p.m. Will there be a new ice show once dry dock is over? So, no, we are keeping the same show that we had before, which is Cool Art Hot Ice. However, we're working on a new project, which has been so much fun. So, we are putting together a showcase. So, we're doing an opening and a finale number, which is a group number. And then, as far as solos go, it kind of was up to us what we wanted to do, whether we wanted to do a solo, a duet, a trio anything we wanted to do so I am working on a solo and I'm gonna be skating to Billie Eilish and I have had a lot of fun with this it's kept me really busy and I'm also doing a duet with Machek to like a Super Mario Bros mashup so it's gonna be like kind of hip-hop it sounds really funny like it sounds like comedy but I think it's gonna be really really cool so Everyone's kind of doing different things and we're putting them all together. I don't know if we will actually ever perform the showcase, but we'll have the show ready to go for any like top tier events or anything else that the cruise director may want to offer to the guests. Do you rehearse still? So we are rehearsing for the new showcase number I just mentioned, but we're also going to be rehearsing for the show so that we can keep it in tip-top shape and make sure that it is nice and clean and sharp for when we return to cruising with guests. Do you guys have free range of the ship or are they working on different parts? We do have pretty much free range of the ship. We can walk through guest areas without having to look the part and like have smart casual on or a name tag but there are parts of the ship that are blocked off for the contractors only. So there is the green zone and there is the yellow zone. So I live in the green zone and I'm allowed to go in the green zone. The green zone is for the crew that live on board. The yellow zone is for the contractors and the riding crew. So basically the crew mess and the staff mess and back deck are all blocked off for the yellow zone so that is all for the contractors only we are not allowed to go there at all for any reason because they don't want us crossing paths with them since we are in a green ship and we have no cases of covid but of course they're also doing work to different parts of the ship so a lot of the ship is blocked off for yellow zone so it's kind of like a maze to get place to place since you can't go any route you want to go. Do you get to see family? Sadly, I don't get to see family, but we do have free Wi-Fi this entire dry dock and during the crossing, so it's been amazing to be able to keep in touch more with my parents and my friends back home. So, I think I've answered pretty much all of the questions you guys sent me. I got a lot of repeats, so I apologize if I missed any here and there. If I did miss a question or if you thought of something else you are interested in knowing, just comment it below and I will respond to you ASAP. Um, but I hope this gives you a little more insight into what Dry Dock is and what it's like for me as an entertainer. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching and always supporting my content, my videos, and just always sending me the nicest messages. I just, I wish I could hug every single one of you because 
you don't know how many opportunities you guys have given me from just supporting my channel and it's more than I ever could have wished for so thank you from the absolute bottom of my heart and please come cruise and come see me on board because I'd love to meet you face to face and yeah that is all I have for now so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day I love you all to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video bye guys